The first ever experimental rhythmic gymnastics international tournament, Divine Grace, has reached a triumphant conclusion in Moscow. The star of the show was 17-year-old Russian Lala Kramarenka, who dominated with victory in each of the four disciplines in the all-round competition. On the last day of the tournament, the gymnasts performed their club and ribbon routines. Kramarenka top scored with the clubs not just because of her faultless execution, but also her mastery of the tournament's unique regulations, which allow participants to include as many body elements as they want. Kramarenka was up to the task. This program is very different from the current regulations, she said. Numerous elements have been added, so it's far more physically challenging. I liked it because we can reveal ourselves and show real rhythmic gymnastics. Russia's team leaders for the past five years, the Avarina sisters, took part in the awards ceremony gala. They said they liked the new format. Yes, this was an excellent experiment because it's an entirely different type of gymnastics, she said. What the girls are doing here is far more beautiful compared to under the current rules. It would be great for this tournament to develop further and for us to try and take part. Anna Kaminshikova of Belarus and Kitavan Abolishvili of Georgia appeared confident with the new points code, which comes into place from next year until 2024. They took second and third place after the club routines. The ribbon is the trickiest and most spectacular discipline of the contest, and one which all admirers of gymnastics enjoy. Kramarenka performed flawlessly once again. The ribbons didn't change the overall standings, with Russia's Lala Kramarenka winning the first ever Divine Grace tournament with a magnificent 141.56 points. Anna Kaminshikova of Belarus claimed silver, while Georgian champion Kitivan Arbolishvili took bronze. For tournament creator Olympic champion Alina Kabaeva, the outcome was a success. I was worried that at some point something would go wrong because the regulations are incredibly difficult for today's rhythmic gymnastics. In fact, a number of countries said, Alina, forgive us, please. We really want to come to the tournament, but at the same time, we don't want to look foolish. Let's just promise that next year we'll be there. But I think that this celebration of sport turned out well and that it was of the highest quality. Divine Grace should be back in Moscow, the event's organizers have promised to make it a tradition.